Hi guys and welcome. My name is Dolores Naskrit, coming to you from sunny Manitoba, Canada, where apparently every one of my neighbors is mowing their lawn at this time. I want to welcome you to the second installment of the Template Club. Today we're going to be doing a full drop with a reflection. So that means that one side and the other will flip and reflect and you'll get a beautiful repeat. What I did was a butterfly. I'm going to show you my document at the end, but I'm going to take you through the steps on how to get your butterfly set up and ready to go. Let's get started. All right. This class, of course, is going to be on the full draw with reflection, and I'm going to open that up from template. So I'm here in the main gallery and I go to new from template and then the template you will have downloaded I'm going to have right here handy and I want the full drop with reflection and when you open it up this is what you'll see so just like the previous one we have the main symbol that you're going to be working with you can of course delete or hide my logo and you will be eventually hiding both sides of this area that we're going to be working in now, the way this one works is that the symbol is on both sides of the square. And if we were to draw something, let's add a stroke to this so that you can actually see it. As long as, as it's within the symbol, so let's take a look at which symbol this is. I'm going to actually drag it in here just to see. That is this side because this would be reflecting if it was in the proper position. So if ever that happens to you, you know that you can just drag it to the opposite side to be showing within the symbol that you're working on. I personally like to work on this side. So this is the one that I would choose to work on. And like I said, you can hide your background, that original rectangle that was there. You could even get rid of it. I'm just going to leave it there for now. But you can see that the huge rectangle or the huge square in the background. So this square itself also has a background which you could also hide and you can change your background color here by unlocking it go to the three dot menu here just click on that unlock and now you could change the color of it so let's just go to something quite neutral make sure that we're on the fill get rid of the stroke and now we're ready to get to work within our symbol here on this side. So whatever I do here, as you can see, is being reflected everywhere on the template. So I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm gonna just dig into my assets gallery here and I'm going to use the folk art, the folksy flowers, I should say, that I created for use with these templates. I am selling this in my artist resources if you're interested. I just love it for creating quick patterns because Whichever one you want, you just have to click insert and you just have to drag it into the side that you're working on. So I have it on the right side because it wouldn't be showing on both if I didn't. Of course, the color is not very prominent, but there you go. Now we have our first little symbol here. Included in that set were butterflies. So if you wanted to, you could also insert something like this, which is a perfectly symmetrical asset. What I would do is set the snapping on at this point, and then I would drag it into my symbol. And you can see what happens here is that it's reflected. If it's off center, then of course, it'll show pretty prominently on the layout. But as long as you have it snap, you can snap it right into the center. And you're literally just working on this half of the butterfly, but it looks like you're working on both. So just keep your snapping on until you get it to the size that you want. What I like about this particular layout is that you're getting the full drop. So in other words, the original tile of your pattern is just repeated directly across from itself. Another word that we use often is that it is a grid repeat. Again, just like everything else, any motif that you drag in from the asset gallery can be changed uh, color wise. And of course you can adjust anything about this that you want. So at this point, you can start filling out the design. I often start with the bigger parts of the design, like the greenery, because I find that then I can backtrack and use the smaller items to fill in anywhere that I need to. Now I'm going to go back to this, and I know that I can divide this in half because I have it reflecting. So I'm going to eliminate everything on the one side. 
to allow for all of these other motifs to be positioned more easily. So like I said, I would start composing it and putting all of my motifs in and moving them around to fill out my pattern. I'm going to show you my finished full drop butterfly. I've pasted it from my previous document because I want to show you this, just how amazing it is. So you can see that I've used a ton of the little assets that I have in this set. And you'll see all of the little flowers here that I've used. I've used a variety, of course, and put it all together in a very unique way. Here's my whole template. And now if we were to take this symbol, and this is the one that we're going to be dragging it into, okay? I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drag the whole thing into here move it of course into position which would be the exact center there i've got the magnetics and snapping still on so of course it has helped me to get my positioning correct here and remember that i have still a rectangle in the background of this one to get rid of this one here so i'm going to delete that and now you can see my entire reflected repeat butterfly here let's get rid of my logo and I think I would also take out that color. So that rectangle that was in the background, that kind of a uh, peachy color is gone now. This one I can hide. There's the dark peach in the background. I would go in and unlock that and then color it with a neutral kind of a background. And ta-da! There we have it. You can see that with the help of my assets, I was able to fairly quickly put this together. Of course, I fussed with it a lot and added things like these vector textures and some of my lines here, as you can see, are dotted lines. These are all things that I will cover in a extended version of this short explanation, okay? The most important thing to remember is to do a new document from template you're going to pick your full drop with reflection. Now you've got the full drop from last month and the full drop with reflection here. You click on it and just remember that some of these things can be turned off, like the backgrounds, the logo can be removed, and just be consistent with which side you're working on. It doesn't matter at all which one you do choose, but what you want to do is make sure that all of your assets that you drag in end up in that layer group there. So I guess we're done. That was real quick, I know, but I'm going to do an extended class on some of these templates at some point. I just wanted to at least get you started on this template so that you could be using it right away. And uh, yeah, I guess bye for now and have fun. I can't wait to see what you create with these. <laughs>